Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this quick video, I want to show you how you can use the Facebook Creative Hub. Now, this is a tool that will help you create ad mockups uh, to help you ideally visualize how ads will look, how your ads will be looking like in different ad placements on Facebook or the Facebook advertising network that is on Instagram, Facebook, the audience network, and what of you. So if you're working with different people on, uh, if you're working on with different people to come up with a campaign, a Facebook ads campaign, yes, you can share with them a link for their approval, probably, or for feedback. And at the same time, you can also add them directly in the Facebook Creative Hub as collaborators. So they can do, yeah, yeah. So collaboratively, you can work on this to fine tune your ads. So let me show you quickly how to go around this, right? So the first thing we need to do is actually get into our Facebook business manager. So you'll get here by typing business.facebook.com slash home yes it will be that you'll be directed here and uh, from this little icon click on all tools and from that scroll all the way to um, uh, scroll all the way to this subsection which says advertise and select creative hub yes we shall be directed to the creative hub um, home home page yeah, as you can see, I refreshed my Creative Hub uh, just for the purpose of this video. Yes, but if you already have mockups that you had already created, they will be showing up here. Yeah, so number one, I need to select the page uh, for which the ad account for which I want to uh, create ad mockups. So I'll be using my own, that is AIMA. Okay, Emo Wambazo, I'll be using that account. Yes. So once I've selected the account I want to use, let's create a mockup. Let's create a mockup. Okay. So here we are uh, at, at this particular page where we shall be creating our mockup. Yeah. So the first thing we need to do is actually give this um, name. So let's say I want to name this as um, uh, Carazo. Cars add mockup. Yeah. So for easy identification, it's important you give a unique name to your ad mockup. That's number one. So two, you have to select the page where uh, actually this will be featuring probably. Yeah. So uh, for that case, I'm going to select my uh, my Facebook account. Yeah. So number two, you also need the Instagram. So uh, for this page, I didn't connect the Instagram account. Uh, but probably if you have one, you can actually add it there. So you can, you have two options when it comes to formats. You can use a single image or video, or probably you can decide to use a carazo. For my case, I'll be using a carazo, the carazo bit of it. Those are scrollable images. Yes. Okay. So here we go. We shall need to add cards or images for the carazo. Yes, I'll select this, um, add cards, image cards. Yeah, so uh, number one, I'll be directed to my ad account. There are some images already. I can decide to use those or I can go forward to actually upload. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Yes, okay, so um, I think I'm gonna use, okay, let's check out. I have, I think I have some images here. For car results, yes. Okay, I think I'm going to use, be using these. Okay, so let me select all these and upload them here. Yeah, as you can see, all my images have been actually selected. So I'm going to select these one by one. Okay, I think I need to order them. Yes, I'll select these order in one by one. Okay, Um. yes. And then I click continue. Yes, like that, uh, all the images will be in position to actually uh, load themselves. Yeah, so here, uh, as you know, with carousels, you need to put a destination URL. So for this case, let me put, uh, just for the case of this video, 
uh, let me put uh, my website aimadigital.me so yes if you love to know about me uh, a little bit about me and the kind of work that i do please make sure you visit my website www.aimadigital.me if you need help with building a website or need help with your digital marketing please make sure you reach out to me i am open to freelance projects yes so i'll put my website yeah so for the case of your business you'll be putting uh, probably your website or a landing page where you want these people to go to once they click on the ad yes you can put a headline yes this is a sum yeah so i may put just a generic headline okay this is a sample okay still you can decide to put a description for this yeah and we want to use uh, i want to uniformly use the same headline for and description for all the cards yeah but on the other way around you can decide to each card to have its own uh its own its own headline and description yeah so but for my case i want to have them all uh having different uh, the same headline and description okay yeah i think we're clear here yes as you can see i am positioned to add up to 10 images yes okay um yeah adding music i'll leave those at default as they are okay i primary text i'll leave that still as it is so the destination is website probably yes as since we've already put in uh the url here somewhere here okay um yes uh for website i'll copy that i'll use it still down here okay hmm. all right i think that is clear um yes so the last thing we need to do is create um a call to action so for this case um probably i may want if let's say this is for booking i may decide for uh to set book now yes or on the other way around if you already have your uh your page connected to whatsapp uh business you can also select send a whatsapp message yes and like that once they click on this button they will be directed to your whatsapp account yeah so as you can see we get a preview of how everything will be looking in different ad placements yeah so for example on the facebook feed this is how it would be like yes uh and instagram this is how uh the thing will be looking like probably uh if it's the marketplace that's how it will be looking uh if it is a facebook f uh, video feed that's the same yes so we get an overview of how everything will be looking like so stories instagram stories inst in stream ads in stream video ads and all that search results and all that so we get a feel of how everything will be looking like yeah so uh the other last thing we need to uh put in consideration if you're going to be using this uh in in future ads yeah probably we can uh uh check this that uh this mock-up will actually be showing up in our ads manager so when we reach the point of actually publishing this once it is approved we can be in position to have access to it and publish this as an ad all right so once everything is clear here the last thing i want to do is actually uh to share this so the essence why we are creating a mock-up is actually one to uh when we are collaborating with other people when working with other people we want them to have uh have them involved in this so they help us uh, making decisions and all that and also we we are in position to get feedback so i want to be in position to share this so how do i go about that there is this little share button yeah so what happens is that number one facebook will create a shareable link whereby if someone clicks on this link they'll be in position to view all the ads in these different placements so once you check that uh it will show we shall be given an um we shall be given uh, an option here to select how many days this link will be valid so i can decide to make them 60 or 30 for this case let me make it 30 days yes and like that 
Facebook will generate a link. So let's copy, we simply copy this link and then be in position to share it with other people. So let's see how probably uh, we can share this, how it looks like, how it will be like once we go into our inbox. So let me send this to myself. Yeah, supposing I'd send it to a client or someone in my team. Man. So let me share this. Let me see how it will be like. Yes, this is how it is going to be previewed. Let me close all the other windows. Yeah, so I've used a different browser from where I was working from. Yeah, so this is actually what happens. Yes, so this is the link. So I'll be shown the different placements. And if I am probably the client or the team member, I can give feedback on what needs to be improved and that will be actually implemented. On the other way around, apart from just sharing, sharing a link, you can also decide to add people as collaborators. How do we go about that? Let's go back to mockups. Yes, as you can see from home here, this is where all the mockups that we've created will be actually showing up. Yes, so I can decide to add a collaborator. Yes, okay, currently I think this ad account, I have a problem here. Okay, um, okay, I think I have a problem here. So, but ideally, whenever you need to add collaborators, other people into the creative hub specifically, and not into your ads manager, you can do that by clicking this button and adding those people. Yeah, I think that's it for the creative hub. Unless you have any questions, please leave, in the, leave them in the comment section. I'll be in position to answer them. So thank you for watching. And if you've gotten value from this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to get a notification whenever I release a new video. Jobless.